Falls. After more than four years, the Topeka Rescue Mission's Net Reach program is leaving High Crest. KSNT News reporter Gretchen Kanan explains why they're leaving and what new opportunities are in store for the community. It's a story you'll only see on KSNT News. High Crest, a community facing poverty, crime, and immense challenges. But in 2013, a beacon of hope entered their community, and it was called NetReach. It's about relationships and people loving others and watching out for everybody. The rescue mission announced they will be leaving High Crest, and NetReach will be transformed into a program under their Restore Hope branch, which focuses on combating human trafficking. Topeka Rescue Mission's executive director, Barry Feeker, says the We'll also be looking to focus on some of the other at-risk parts of Topeka. You know, sometimes it's hard to let go of something, but we're willing to let go of high crest in order that it becomes even better than we were doing it. He says North, Central, and East Topeka are all possibilities. We need to uh, examine it, see how we can really do this in another neighborhood and throughout the community, and maybe now it's time to go ahead and move on to the next community. But as one door closes, another one opens. My name is John Sella, and I am the lead pastor for the High Crest Campus of Fellowship Bible Church. This spring, the brand new High Crest Campus of Fellowship Bible Church is taking over the old Avondale East School. Pastor Jonathan Sublette says he's looking forward to changing the way people view High Crest. I get to witness valuable, gifted people living life together, doing great things in each other's lives and in their community, transforming their community, and I just get to shout to the world, hey, look at what's going on here. Jonathan even bought a house in High Crest. He says he looks forward to bringing businesses, jobs, and programs into the community. The church's first service is March 18th with the official launch on Easter Sunday. In Topeka, Gretchen Kanan, KSNT News. And we'll take you inside the High Crest neighborhood tomorrow on KSNT News at 10. We'll show you the impact of net reach and why stigma could be contributing to crime in that area.